So getting the right ship and being with the right caring company was all important. And if they were really lucky, they sometimes ended up aboard a brand new ship like Portline's Port Sydney. Stillness falls across London's Royal Docks the evening before sailing day. On the early morning tide, the stylish Port Sydney sails on only her second voyage on a journey around the world. Port Lion was growing all the time, with new, bigger and better ships being built for them. Here, at the Belfast Yards of Harland and Wolfe, stock number 1483 was given to another new Port Lion ship. This was the 10,470 gross tonne Port Melbourne. Waiting at the quayside was the Ben Glow's sister ship, the 11,463 gross ton Ben Loyal. It's difficult to imagine the feelings and thoughts that filled this boy's mind as fresh out of sea school, he walked nervously into the maze of this foreign and intimidating world to join his very first ship. Two days out from London, and in the Bay of Biscay, one of the big Orient liners majestically overhauled Ben Loyal on her way to Suez, the Far East, in Australia. 